Hi guys, this is Delaroy Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. Uh, we are still in the Android Observable Scroll View, uh, which we'll be talking about the Flexible Space Toolbar Web View. Uh, the first tutorial in this model is actually on the Flexible Space Toolbar Scroll View. Uh, this is going to actually add up the web view into the uh, space, the Flexible Space Toolbar. Uh, without much ado, I'll be moving straight to Android Studio, which is the development environment for this application. Uh, we'll move to my Gradle scripts, where we have the build, the Gradle, the project, and the module uh, session. Uh, in the module app session of the build, the Gradle, we still have our dependencies right intact, uh, the observable scroll view 1.5.0, and the nine old Android library 2.4.0. Okay. Uh, we see it goes to our build.gradle class parts. We still maintain the build gradle 1.5.0 uh, as the class part. I'll be going to my rest, uh, the layout files of this application. Uh, the only difference uh, in the UI is the activity flexible space toolbar web view, which is quite different from the uh, the space toolbar scroll view. Okay, that's the only activity uh, layout we'll be looking at at this moment. Uh, okay. It's a relative layout with width and height match parent, and also we included the observable scroll view tag, uh, a frame layout followed afterwards with a web view. You know, and we close up the frame layout with the closing observable scroll view. Okay, uh, we have a view that actually goes to the background color primary, and we uh, call on the Android support version 7 widget toolbar, uh, where we have the pop up team as the app compact light dark action bar okay uh, we have a relative layout with padding left so set 72 dp uh, with a text view that follows with the title as an id okay uh, the linear layout is right inside this relative layout uh, where the orientation is vertical and we have two views here which are all under color transparent we need to close the linear layout and also the relative layout uh, with the corresponding frame layout let's get to see the design view okay is how the uh, UI will actually look where the web view is going to sit right inside this uh, white portion. Okay, uh, I'll be moving straight to my Java classes uh, where we still have, we still maintain our about activity, the base activity, which the flexible space toolbar web view activity extends. Uh, the main activity is still right in touch with the simple error recycler adapter and the simple recycler adapter, which are all incorporating the main activity, you know, to actually bring down the drop down for some list okay we'll be looking at the flexible space toolbar web view activity uh it maintains the same tweak with the previous uh layout uh, or the previous toolbar scroll view where we uh extends the base activity and also the observable scroll view callbacks we are actually imported the libraries the observable scroll view its callbacks the scroll state and the scroll utilities uh we have the five fields here the M flexible space view, the M toolbar view, the M title view, the space height, and the view container. Where we set uh, the uncreate method, we set the content view to the activity flexible space toolbar web view, the XML we mentioned earlier. And we also have to uh, instantiate the different fields created. And this is just the portion which actually made the difference from the uh, scroll view where we in Included the web view uh, library or the web view class and called its objects. We created an object from each reader and assigned its ID. And we have to load this, the, the URL in question, which is www.delarestudios.com, which will be actually be displaying as our web view. And we call on the web settings whereby we need to set the JavaScript enabled to true. Okay. Uh, we also did some other, or we also maintained the updates flexible space text where we set the pivot x and the pivot y and the scale x and scale y uh coordinates uh and also we adjust the top margin okay and that's fine we have to maintain that the same base activity still flows around okay i'll explain that in the first tutorial of the flexible space tool bar screw i'll be looking at the manifest where we have uh, the permission internet very important and also we call on another activity which is the flexible space toolbar 
web view activity. This particular activity is very important to call because that's the ensuing activity from the main activity. This activity is actually the one launching up the web layout. So you have to include this activity in your manifest. That's very cool. Uh, we'll be I'll be uploading the source file to my GitHub account. You can pick it up from there and extract it or clone it. And also I'll be uh, displaying this in my Android emulator for us to see how the application actually flows. Uh, now we have our application uh, in our Android emulator called the Flexible Web. Uh, we have the lists, uh, the Flexible Space Toolbar Web Activity, Web View Activity. A click on this should take us to the flexible space with a web display um, in the second activity okay uh, we should get to see a web display of uh, the Leroy studios here we go uh, the website is uh, loading gradually uh, so we are we're going to have a full display of the website right inside this portion uh, where you can actually have to uh, scroll up and down to check some other details. No, it's actually loading based on the network or uh, the internet. And also because I'm using an emulator, it looks uh, kind of slightly slow. But that's fine. That's just uh, the basics of incorporating a flexible space to by web view in an Android application. Uh, thank you very, very much, my good listener, for hanging out with me throughout this uh, tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.